Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about the free surface effect. This concept of free surface effect I feel is not understood amongst many mariners. How do see? Now, free surface is caused because of a partly filled compartment. The partly filled compartment, the liquid tends to move from one side to the other side uh, uh, out at sea in rolling, during rolling. So what happens when a moving mass goes port to starboard, starboard to port or for that matter if a tank or a compartment is partly filled with liquid, uh, in a way the wedge of liquid goes from port to starboard. So I tend to ask my students, what is the reason that we say that because of free surface effect there is a virtual rise of G or virtual loss of GM. So uh, you won't believe most uh, even experienced mariners they say that when the liquid splashes from one side to the other side uh, in a way when the liquid goes close to the side it uh, it is elevated because of the splashing and that is what causes virtual rise of G which is absolutely wrong. We must understand what is the uh, reason that we say that uh, a free surface effect causes virtual rise of G or virtual loss of GM. So let us understand this first with the help of a picture. Uh, let us say uh, here is the ship that is inclined. Okay, uh, this is the water level. This was the initial water level. As we know, during the rolling, this buoyancy wedges, they get transferred from here to here, you know, and along this line, the center of buoyancy of the ship moves parallel and proportional to this line to a point called V1. And the transverse distance between the vertical downward force at G, vertically downward acting force at G and vertically upward force acting at B, the transverse distance between them is called GZ. But now what happens is, if a compartment had free surface that means the compartment is partly filled the center of gravity of this liquid as the ship rolls on one side the centroid of the liquid goes from G to G1 and parallel and proportional movement of center of gravity of the ship happens from the point G to this point G1. So G1, Z1, G1, Z1 is the new writing lever. As G moves from here to here transversely, you know, the effect is as if the G has moved upwards to form the writing lever G2, Z2, which is equal to G1, Z1. So actually what happens is, Physically the liquid goes sideways, but it's effective as if the liquid must have gone upwards. So if somebody says what is the effect of free surface, we must say we must say that the effect of free surface is reduce to reduce the writing lever at any angle of heel. Reduction of writing lever in a way is understood in the diagram as virtual rise of G. So G actually physically moves from here to here but practically we feel or the practical effect of the G is moving from here to here is as if the G must have moved upwards right because the same writing lever G1 Z1 you will get if the G had not moved sideways if the G had moved upwards now we'll try to understand the same thing in an animated picture in this picture we can see the transverse section of ship whose center of gravity and center of buoyancy are in a vertical line. We can also see transverse section of a tank or hold 
where liquid is seen, partly filled in that compartment. As the ship rolls, the liquid shown in blue shifts to low side. The center of gravity of this liquid shifts from small g to small g1. This causes the ship's center of gravity to shift from capital G to capital G1. Also due to rolling, a wedge of buoyancy emerges out of the water on high side and gets immersed on the low side. The buoyancy of the wedge shifts from small b to b1, shifting the center of buoyancy of the ship from capital B to b1. An upward force from b1 and downward force from g1 forms new writing lever called g1z1, shown in red. If the ship had no free surface, the writing lever would have been gz but because of the free surface the writing lever now is g1z1 which is also equal to g2z2 g2z2 is lever if g moved vertically up instead of moving transversely although the g shift sideways because of the free surface effectively uh, it appears as if the g must have moved upwards you know so we say that there is a physical shift of center of gravity sideways but there is a virtual rise of G upwards. And this is the reason we say that there is virtual loss of GM or virtual rise of G. The stability of the ship should be understood in a practical way. There is no point understanding stability theoretically and not understand the practical application. Say for example, uh, the relationship between B and D. For a box vessel, you know, the vertical distance BM can be found as b square by 12d for a triangular vessel with the apex downwards it is b square upon 6d so b and d has got a relationship which must be understood in a practical way suppose your fleet has got you know two ships for the same draft one of the ships one of the ships has got a broader beam compared to the other so broader beam one will be more stiff and the vessel with lesser beam will be more tender now, this is understanding stability in a practical way. What is meta center? When the ship rolls, the center of buoyancy moves along an arc, as if the center of buoyancy is going along a swing. Where is the swinging point from where the swing is swinging? So, that point is called meta center. Now, understanding meta center this way, you have a better idea that uh, the distance BM depends on the moment of inertia of water plane area and underwater volume. Now another thing which we must understand as the liquid or the wedge of liquid goes from port to starboard and starboard to port it is swinging uh, in the hold and proportionately and in a similar way there is the center of gravity of the ship also moving along the swing. Now the center of gravity of the ship which goes along the swing you know where is the imaginary swinging point that is the virtual position of center of gravity. And from that point to meta center is the virtual GM. So uh, anything on the ship that moves from port to starboard, which can influence the ship center of gravity to move from port to starboard, can give rise to virtual loss of GM or virtual rise of G. I must add one more sentence here that in bilging, uh, if a compartment is damaged, say from underneath, you know, the bottom is removed, that water that comes in the compartment is not part of the ship it is part of the sea and if it is not part of the ship during rolling that water which is in that compartment cannot cause free surface effect so in the constant displacement method of calculation of gm in dam stability we do not consider the free surface effect of the compartment which is damaged now let us do a very simple numerical to understand the effect of free surface so Here is a ship, transverse section, and uh, say uh, there is this tank which is on the main deck and it is say half full with water of density 1.002 tons per meter cube. Now displacement of the ship is say 16,000 tons that is along with the water now if the <clears throat> ship's GM 
solid was 1.2 meters for example and this tank that you see has got a length of 8 meters and breadth of 3 meters then if we consider the surface the free surface of the tank and if it say appears like this the plan view this is the plan view of the swimming pool or the tank that has got water that is partly filled uh, this is the centroid and this is the fore and aft axis parallel to the center line center line of the ship say passes from here parallel to the center line here is this axis which passes through the centroid of the free surface and about this line the moment of inertia is L B cube upon 12 L B cube upon 12 that means 8 into 3 cube upon 12 that is 18 meter raised to 4 is the moment of inertia. Now 18 multiplied by 1.002 is called free surface moment in tons meter. So free surface moment in tons meter is 18.036 tons meter and 18.036 divided by displacement it will be the free surface correction. So free surface correction will be 18.036 divided by 16,000. So this is the free surface correction which will have to be subtracted from uh, GM solid to give you GM fluid. So this is a simple uh, application of the uh, free surface correction in the ship stability calculations. Normally in the tables it is available as to what is the maximum free surface moment that can be provided by a tank being uh, uh, partly filled right so uh, what we do is we pick up the moment of inertia multiply that with the density of the liquid that is inside and then uh, we total up the free surface moment that is available from different tanks and total free surface moment divided by the displacement of the vessel gives you free surface correction which is applied to GM solid to give GM fluid.